My name is Nondando Vete, and I'm a nurse. The following video has been created to help healthcare professionals experience different scenarios when dealing with young people seeking knowledge about HIV and sexual health services. The aim of this 360-degree virtual reality film is to remind us all that we have the power to both positively and negatively affect the patient we serve because of how we treat them. As nurses, we often don't have the time to realize what someone who comes to us seeking knowledge about their HIV status as well as their sexual health services has to go through. What we as nurses need to do is to walk in the shoes of the patients from their door to our door. Imagine how stressful and nervous you will feel the first time you went for an HIV test. Maybe as you walk through the door, you see someone you know, or the receptionist is rude. By the time the young person gets called to see a nurse, they could have gone through a very nerve-wracking experience. This could lead to them leaving the clinic before they are tested or treated. Hours after leaving home, the young person arrives in the room with the nurse hopeful that this will be the time to get the answers they need. When they feel judged, embarrassed, or disrespected, they tend not to return to the clinic. This film aims to bring you closer to what stigma looks and feels like from the nurse towards the patient. What you're about to see is a positive and a negative role play scenario. These interactions are recreated from real testimonies of what young people have experienced. See that boy? Is it you again? You? You like this clinical? Oh. Every day, every day you are here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is this? Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. I am a sister. I am a sister. I am a sister. I I am a I am I I HIV testing, and HIV and STI treatment. Come in. Is it you, Lisa, again? Yes, yes. Sit down. What are you here for today? HIV testing. Again? Again, Sissy? Whew. How old are you, my baby? 18. And in, 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 you were here last month, remember? Did you have an unprotected sex again? Sure. Hey. You children of today, I don't know what you, what you want to read in life. Was it the same boyfriend? Yes. You remember the last time you were here? You were tested. What were the results? Maybe you want to be pos positive now this time, eh? Last, last, the same month you were here and you were tested. And you were tested by me, Nakhal. And I know the results. Now maybe you really want it now, eh? You cannot come in tw in, 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 twice in one month, meaning that you have changed, you, you have a different boyfriend, isn't it? At your age. At your age, my dear. You need to be serious. I wonder if I can tell your mother, what would your mother say about this? I think I need to tell her because I know your mom. I'm sorry, I have to go. You go where? I have to go to check my brother. As healthcare workers, don't be too sympathetic to harsh nurses. Don't make it seem that harsh behavior is acceptable. Young people have the right to sexual health care. Research has shown that stigma from nurses towards young people greatly affects their attitudes towards testing and treatment. See here, boy? Is it you, my darling? Come with me, baby. Come, let's go to the room. 
How are you? I'm good, Edie. Okay, sure. Hey, you want to go to the In the Abbey shop, right? So, when you eat pots, outside is by the way, free HIV test. Eh, eh? Okay, okay, Papa Lilo, I'm gonna, gonna draw, I'm gonna, so prick, I'm gonna prick you in one of your fingers and then try to get a sample of blood with this. And then I've got, when I've got that piece, sample of blood, and then I put it here. Ne? Okay. And then I'm gonna put one drop of this here inside, and then we'll wait for 15 seconds. Then thereafter, we'll read the test. Ne? The test is where it's gonna tell us the results. Ne? When, when there's no line under the test, it means you are negative. And if there's a line there, it means you are positive. Ne? Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Sorry, baby. Okay. Changing our approach to be more youth-friendly can make a life-saving difference. Hello, my sweetie. Come to me. This is not the end of the world. Hmm? This is really not the end of the world. Remember? It is very important to talk about this. And the earlier you talk about your status to anyone is the best. Because the more you delay talking about your status to someone, the more difficult it becomes for you. You, 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 you are eligible to, to get your treatment today if you, are, if you are okay. But if you feel you're still not okay, you can come to us anytime. You must know our clinic is very open and we'll be waiting for you. Ne? Thank you. You must know that the treatment, you'll get the information from the counselor that the treatment, the sooner you start the treatment, it's going to be a lifelong treatment for you. You are going to be given e e ways on how to take your treatment. You are going to, give an, to be given e advice. The only thing that is important for you, you come to the clinic whenever there's something that you don't understand. Then we'll explain to you, ne baby? I'm going to refer you to a counselor. Ne? If we as nurses are able to set the highest standard of care, the effects of our positive actions will be felt long after the young person has gone home. So how about we just go and have some fresh air? Don't forget your treatment. So yeah. Right now you are about to hear from a group of young people who have been on a receiving end of a nest that has broken a rank and risked a healthy interaction, bringing a personal opinion and a judgment onto an unsuspecting young person. My negative experience at the clinic was when I went for my first HIV test at the age of 17. I felt judged and disrespected when the nurse asked me why I was um, having sexual experiences at that age. Thank you for listening to my story. My negative experience with the healthcare workers was the day I visited the local clinic. I received my treatment, uh, um, I went for a checkup, but the problem is that now they had to invite a second nurse in the room without asking me if I understand the language of communication. Now the second nurse was also in the room, which is also, um, there was no privacy involved. I, I felt like there's no privacy and they didn't ask me if I do understand the language of communication. And then the next minute when I went out, she looked at me in a funny way. Um, I didn't feel so comfortable about that. And yeah, thank you for listening to my story. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My negative experience with healthcare workers is that I went to my local clinic to go and test and treat STI. When I got there, um, the receptionist um, started mocking me and then they told me to speak louder. And then I told them that I was embarrassed to speak louder because the other people will listen to me. So they spoke louder on my behalf. They started asking me why did I sleep with multiple um, partners um, and this SCI of mine will turn into HIV. They started um, making fun of me. So I was embarrassed, but at the end of the day, I got help and then I went home. One of the receptionists um, stays in my neighborhood. So every time he, him and his friends will be um, drinking alcohol 
alcohol. He would um, sit in, in the sun and then they will um, mock me. They will call me names and then when I pass by, he will say to his friend, um, here is this girl with the leaking private part and then they will laugh about it. And that happened to me for years and um, I was de depressed about it and um, I was embarrassed. Um, thank you um, for listening to my story. Molwen, mnailam ibali enge healthcare workers. Okay, so sasi suka SDA enlini ne? Kuko i mobile clinic. So as si sasa ST shini, sabi iswa payana ba maso testi la HIV. Okay, so sasa necho mizam. Kandi ngena payana, ape kwini sasi ba ninzi panga panja, bando ba linde unge na panga pagati, and then za i, 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 i room zazi itu. So kandi ngena nga pagati, sange nikwe pre-counseling, sange nikwe after counseling, dasa la payana, then the tattoo that's alu kazi, if umta we one, we touch ba negative. If imita me two, we touch ba positive. And after that, we follow up a clinic. Now since you come back, we touch a paper like it. We change our pants. Oh, when the one that reach ba oh, we go send the offer. Did you change? Umta. We try to work all. Yeah, amba, yeah, amba, yeah, amba. This we cause ba we try to no waste money. Yeah, amba, yeah, amba, yeah, amba. But you know, I am experiencing what some people are doing. Imagine everyone working at the health facility treated all young people with respect. Imagine that staff were aware of their actions and treated young people sensitively. Imagine they were given the best advice in a kind and respectful manner, without judgment. It is up to all of us working at the facilities to hold each other accountable. We would have fulfilled our duty to get more young people tested and treated so that together we can end HIV in our lifetime.